for a small bore. I have never been to this event, but I do love small displacement motors and small bikes. Let's give this a shot. The main event, an endurance race mini GP, is what the lot of us were looking forward to. Would we pilot Adam's Tau Tau to podium finish number one and net that sweet, sweet thousand dollar pot? No. But hey, if we outperform race machines on a China bike, then, <laughs> well, uh, you just got beat by a China bike. If we get whooped, then all is well. It's just a China bike. With a race on our plate, we needed to track prep the night before. My dad says that's for pussy. This included new bars from the finest artisanal handmade manufacturer, Trackside. Fresh oil, torque striping all the bolts and sealing liquids, and taping off the lights. Loaded up bright and early the first day of small boards, and with a McBiscuit in hand, we set out to the hollowed grounds of the Barber Vintage Museum. Once we had our camp spot set up, it was time to head out and explore all the things small bore had to offer. There were Travis's aplenty, showing every ticket holder and passerby that he too could touch the sky. Stunt riders are a different crowd. Seeing all the crazy stuff people slap together really makes you think. Drag race built Zumas and Ruckuses, is it Ruckai? And bikes of similar nature falling into the upwards of $10,000 category. Who the fuck spends this kind of money on scooters? I don't know, but I'm sure glad they did. The following day, we signed up to participate in the Creek Bottom Classic, more affectionately known as the Soggy Bottom Race by a fellow race participant and Mountain Dew enthusiast. This three-class race all consisted of bikes that didn't belong off-road, enduro, stock wheel, and vintage. Bestowed upon me was the Sick 50 to ride in this race, a hodgepodge 50cc pit bike with a rear brake that was all but unreachable. And holy shit was this terrifying. But I didn't die. I even finished the race. Like peanut butter on a burger, you'd think it's wrong until you had it. No woods race is complete without a mariachi band. I'm not sure whose idea it was to employ these fine gentlemen, but bravo. A meme lord at a small bike rally. Who'd have thought? Immediately after the woods race, if you were brave enough, you could attempt the hill climb. Adam killed it on the Chinese pit bike. Still have the for sale sign on. Yeah, for sale sign. Get it. Get it. I believe in you. I believe in you. <laughs> the group of us that decided to attend this event wanted a race. The endurance race allowed for participating teams to have up to four members and race 100cc and under for two strokes and 200cc and under for four strokes. The team I was on decided to race a chom. The opposing team within our group decided on a Chinese 50cc pit bike. Yes, the same sick 50 I just raced through the woods. Or so we thought. These bastards pulled one over on us, and I have to say, I'm not even mad. That's amazing. <laughs> they pulled their allowance and lawn mowing money together in order to build a CRF 80 sumo. And let me tell you, this guy fucks. Thank you. Did some cleaning up. Looks pretty good on the rear. Did a couple different grits of sandpaper and got it up to 2,000. I'm gonna do the front too. We got decals for that. But then I gotta do the tank. The tank is ugly. I'm gonna give her a bath here soon, get all this water or all this dirt out of here. Make it nice and clean. What an awesome little ripper they put together and all under the cover of nightfall. I've got to think of a way to outdo them. After enjoying the oddities of the fan zone and some pretty sweet one-off builds, it was time to acquaint ourselves with the main event, the Mini GP track. We purchased some practice time and with leather suits atop our sunburns, it was time to pretend to be a racer.
fun little track the Barber Proving Grounds is. While dry. Well, it rained on race day and no one was prepared. Uh, except for one team. All my teammates and I had a great time and enjoyed meeting you as well as catching up with some old friends. The list of all the events at Small Boar seemed never ending. It's unfair to have thought this would be like a mini vintage fest, and in a way, it kind of was. It's hard to beat hanging out with your friends and some random weirdos on small bikes with beers. See you next year, Small Boar. Oh yeah, Hot Dog won a fucking motorcycle. <laughs>